Welcome to the future, where robots don't sleep, don't eat, and don't ask for a raise. Sounds efficient, right? Efficient for some, terrifying for others. By 2030, trucks, banks, and retail are already automated. By 2040, public transport, healthcare, and factories follow. By 2050, global logistics and farming run without humans. Machines become the infrastructure of civilization. Humans? Only a fraction remain, not operators, but buffers. Here's the human cost. In 2025, 40% of us still have active roles. By 2040, only 30%. By 2050, just 24% remain useful, guardians, interpreters, creators. The rest? Redundant. That's 76% of humanity with nothing much to do. Imagine three quarters of us twiddling thumbs while machines run the show. Now mix this with today's world. 1% already control half the wealth. 70% survive but struggle. 10% live in extreme poverty. Add automation with greedy use of AI, and the gap widens into a canyon. The elites float, the majority sink, and the poorest drown. And here's the paradox. Machines can build, but they can't buy. Automation increases, redundancy rises, purchasing power collapses. Goods pile up, prices crash. The top 1% float for a while, cushioned by global networks. But eventually, the system stalls. Robots don't binge Netflix, they don't buy sneakers, they don't keep the economy alive. At that point, society faces a choice, redistribute wealth to keep humans buying, or watch the system collapse under its own greed. The future burglar won't need a crowbar, just a laptop. Autonomous trucks hijacked, drones misused, AI scams running wild. That's why humans won't vanish completely. We'll still be needed, as guardians, interpreters, and creators. But only a few. The rest risk being left behind. These on the top of continuous growth in global population. So what's the point of showing you this? Pressure. Awareness. If people know what's coming, they can demand safeguards, redistribution, and dignity. Silence guarantees disaster. Speaking out gives us a fighting chance. 